I'm Base Bellagio. Welcome to another great guide for Mortal Online 2. This is my guide for my gathering runs around the town of Maduli for you to become rich and not leave town and worry about PvP. Now, you always have to worry about PvP in this game. But my secret little hiding spots around this town will help you really get the edge on other people with minimal risk. So we started back at the market near the fountain and we are heading south, southwest. Everything revolves around the crafting grinders and crushers over here. Okay, for my runs. We do farming at the zombies. We do farming around different mobs around Meduli. I'll show you some spots, mainly cougar and bush pigs. And then my main bulk of money comes from mining. There's also some harvestables out in the fields I will show you for herbalists or alchemists too. We use all this to help make a little buffer of gold. So it doesn't matter if we get jumped or ambushed, we can just go buy some more stuff. So from here, obviously any rock is fair game, but most of these rocks around here are always mined, except a few. Let me show you. The first one is my favorite little rock over here that nobody ever gets. Very rarely do I see someone up over here. This is also a great spot for a beginner because you feel safe with guards nearby. But right over here is a beautiful little ore of Sabura. All the rock around here around Meduli is going to be Sabura unless you go up into the, the foothills or up that mountain where that keep is. But that is uh, on you. It's your risk. And you'd want to wait for that till you're comfortable. This sub... No, Duke. If anyone watches my stream over on Twitch, you know Duke. He's an ornery kind of horse who jumps off cliffs at a moment's notice. Can we, we're going to just have him follow me. That'll be safest. Sabura has in it some good stuff for you to sell or keep refining if you want to go down that path for crafting. And we'll talk about that later. Out in this field here, pretty much down to the water, to that rock, all out here, you're going to find something called boar. Boar is also used for crafting and refining, and you actually need it to refine the Sabura even further. So you're going to want to collect a lot of that. Where's Duke? We might want to hop on little, little old Duke here. There's been a lot of PvP activity around Meduli lately, and uh, there's a coalition of guilds that protect a lot of the noobs around here. Like myself, I am a noob. I am no master at this game. I just, I just make videos for different games. So, I would love to make video for a game that I love, like this game. It's very easy to make videos for this game. Or any game that I like playing for the most part. This is boar. Boar is used and utilized for a couple different things. And the one thing I want you to be aware of is anything you harvest around Meduli won't sell for as much on the local broker. Basically, that's the auction house of this game. You would probably take this boar to another city, north or east. I'm not sure if there's any city south. But basically, you go to a different city, you'd bring this stuff. Because the way this game works, as far as I know, is what's abundant in one city is scarce in another, and vice versa. This is some more boar. This rock over here, I love grabbing. This, these rocks, I feel like not many people come out here. This is like the mid-range zone. When I, when I was very new to the game, I didn't leave that far either. I actually have to get this for my mining expert <laughs> experiences and journeys, experiments, everything coming. I'm making a bunch of cool stuff. I'm going to start giving it away to new people, selling it on the market. 
I haven't mined boar successfully when it's on a rock like that. I don't know if that's a glitch or what. The next material I want you to be aware of. Let's see if we can hunt it out while we're riding. Trees are scarce around Meduli. The graveyard has your source of trees. If you're a shieldsmith, a bowsmith, bow crafter would be the more proper term. Let's keep riding. Right here. This is fennel. Fennel is good for horses to feed them. You can also gather that on your journeys. Keep an eye out for it to make some extra money. Here's some more right here. Now more hidden rock spots close to town. These tend to be non-mine sometimes, but the closer you get to the grinder down here in the crusher, you will find people have mined them completely. Let me show you another secret rock spot. Up off the horse. This rock all along. So the way rocks work as far as I could tell is, let's say this is a fresh rock. If we mine it right here, I feel, I feel like it's zoned. So then like all, anything connected to this rock per se, okay, for maybe about to here would be mined. But then if I go over here and I start mining, I feel like I get rock again. So always play around with the rocks, like move up a little, you know, a good decent way. Duke's in my way, jeez, jeez Duke. But a secret spot on this rock that not many people mine is right here, right about here. See Sabura? Not many people mine this area, this zone. And then same with up here on top of this rock and around town. Very good mining spots. Now let's go to by the water's edge. There's one spot, one more spot in town that not many people get. And you'll be protected by Ozzy. Ozzy's the flying guard. I don't know if other people call him Ozzy, but Ozzy's a good friend of mine. He flies above the harbor. He hangs out there watching the sunrise and sunset. And he'll protect you while you mine. Ozzy's right around here. These rocks are always mined, I feel like. Every single time. These, maybe you'll get lucky, okay? And then down by Ozzy, right here. By the water's edge, beautiful spot to mine. See the flying... Don't go in the water, Duke. Slow down. The flying guard up here. This is Oswald. Tind Tindremic guard. This guard is a foreshadow of the ship update that's coming ship ships boats okay boats are coming to the game ships are coming to the game more continents are coming to the game all next year probably not all one continent's coming next year i think the ships are coming next year but oswald here he'll protect the harbor till then but ozzy will also protect you while you mine this little hidden spot some rock right here you can watch the beautiful water oh i found a new spot holy crap Let's make this horse stay. Stay there. Wow, guys. I swear, I've ne I never knew this was here. This spot is my mining pickaxe. Ooh, my new pole. Pole sword. I'm getting good at these. Um, That's not what I wanted to do. Listen, this is safe to say that this is also good rock. Because if I come down here and harvest this rock as my secret, then this is definitely available. Wow, I like that. Okay. Next, we're going to go, I think, north. Oh, man. He screwed. Come on, Duke. Let's go. Okay. Should be good now. So out here, you're going to find this sea kelp. It's a type of kelp sea dew, it's called. Sea dew. If you're an alchemist, I'm not sure what that this does. I'm not really into alchemy in this build. I'm going to do a whole separate build video. I hope you check that out. There's more boar out here, all the way around here. All the way, this whole little cove by the water, there's boar. Okay. Obviously more rock out here. You want to stay close to town, though. Stick to there. You can always run back and harvest. That's pretty much all my rock spots within town. 
The last thing I want to show you for the uh, budding adventure is out here in these fields, you're going to get bu bush pigs. As you can see, bush pig. They're good to fight for a beginner. Also, more fennel all over the place. Keep your eye out for it. Okay, and then south, southeast and east of town, by those trees out there, you'll find more bush pigs out here too. You're going to find out here all day. They kind of roam and stuff, and there's packs and spawn areas. And then starting to get out here, you got to be wary of. For players, for... Uh, the Miscreant Guild and Legion, they are PvP, they kill you on sight. And, uh, but down those trees there, that, down there is Cougar. Very deadly Cougar. And, uh, once you get good at the game and have a better set of armor than you left Haven with, and a free weapon from me, Master Weaponsmith, Bellagio, Sampler, that's my in-game name. Find me, find the guild artisan, we're, we're very helpful. You definitely want to get some good gear before fighting Cougar. They, they, I still have not mastered or even become a novice at blocking Cougar. Or many animals out there, they're hard, harder to block than humans or PvP because you don't really know what direction an animal, like animal swinging from. I have to just learn it, we all will. That's pretty much my entire harvest guide for meduli you would go and sell this to local npcs and you would also check the broker market my broker guide is coming soon i'm going to teach people the 101 basics of how to use the broker so that'll be next but thank you very much for watching hit that like button if you liked the video if it was helpful dislike it to tell me to improve somewhere it helps and also, hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you around the channel. We're over on Twitch streaming right now. At Base Bellagio. Same name as the YouTube channel. And thank you very much for watching.